Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel Among in Cloud. If you are visiting the channel for the first time, Among in Cloud is a community where we discuss about cloud and DevOps, right? So in the last few videos, we have we are talking about building a project which is a serverless web application on AWS, right? So if you haven't seen this video first, you know the first hashtag one. So I'd highly recommend you to go through this video first because here I have discussed whatever the things that we are going to cover in this project, right? So an overview and I have built that complete project already. So I have, you know, you know, shown you what, what is the end result that you are going to get, right? So whatever the prerequisites, everything I have discussed in this particular video, please check this video and then continue this second one. Okay. We have seen only 10% of the channel viewers have subscribed to our channel. We have high expectation from our YouTube channel. So please subscribe and spread a word about this channel with your friends. So I'll straight away get into the project. This is the architecture of our project. And if you ask me where to begin, answer is very straightforward. We are going to start from the right hand side. That is first we need to set up our S3 bucket, right? So we'll go like this. We'll first set up S3 bucket, then go with the cloud front next route 53 then again come to dynamo db lambda and we'll test this project right so first let us go ahead and set up our uh, you know s3 bucket and store our html css and javascript files because we are going to host a static web application right so which needs to be stored in an s3 bucket right so if you see this architecture we have not included any servers, right? So it is completely serverless. We are making use of Lambda, DynamoDB and S3 bucket, right? So first let us go into AWS Management Console and then create an S3 bucket, right? So I have logged into my AWS account. This is my AWS Management Console. And now the next step is to create an S3 bucket. So I'll just click on S3 or you can also search here in this global search bar. Right. So I have clicked on that S3 icon. And here, if you see, this is the S3 console. As I do not have any bucket, this is asking me to create a bucket. Right. So if you do not know what is an S3 bucket and all. So this is not an introduction to S3 video. You have you can check my YouTube channel. I have a separate playlist for AWS. You can go check that out. Right. So now let's get into it and create a bucket. So I'll just click on create bucket. And here are few configuration that I need to set up in order to uh, set up this S3 bucket. So first things first, I need to give the bucket name. So make sure that the bucket name, it should be globally unique and must not contain spaces or uppercase letters. So your bucket name should be unique. If you are trying to copy the same project that I'm building, do not use the same bucket name. Please make sure to change it, right? So add some extra characters or, in, or numbers and try that out, right? So I have, you know, documented the entire steps. So the first step, I'm going to use this bucket name serverless web app. Uh, I'll just copy this one and I'll make sure to provide this in the GitHub also. Okay. So I'll just paste that out and AWS region as I'm from India, I'll go ahead and select the nearest location to me. That is Mumbai AP South one. Okay. I'll select that one and I'll keep the ownership object ownership is, you know, ACLs. I would uh, disable that one. I don't want it. And I'm going to block all the public access for this bucket. So I don't want any outsider to access my S3 bucket. So I'm going to block all of them and versioning. I'm going to disable it because I don't want to uh, enable it right now. If you want to add a tag, go ahead and add a tag and encryption. I will give that as default. I am not going to alter anything. Uh, let it be SSE S3, S3 managed keys. And bucket key, I'm going to enable that and I'll just click on create bucket. Okay. It might take two or three seconds to create a bucket for us. Here, if you see uh, the serverless web application on AWS bucket is created for us. Okay. The next step is to upload HTML, CSS and J uh, JavaScript files into this S3 bucket. So how to do that? 
click on this uh, you know bucket and here if you see you have an option to upload right so you just click on upload click on add files i'll i have kept all my files in the you know local machine so i'll i have stored them under website so here if you see i have all the three files index.html js and css i'll select the all of them and i'll click on open okay so now all the three uh, files have been uploaded here now i'll just click on upload so wait for the uh, result here it will tell you upload succeeded only then upload was successful right so after this you can close this icon and here you will be able to see all the three files now if you ask me where can i get the sample files you can get it from my github repository so you can j just click on serverless web application on aws i'll make sure to provide the link to this github repository in the description box below if you see here we have index.html we have uh, the script.js and we have style.css right so you can you know either you can clone the repository or you can just get this content copied and pasted in your local machine okay so i hope uh, that solves your problem now uh, we have completed the step one for now so the ne next step is to configure the cloud front okay so we will cover that in the next video so if you have completed till now congratulations you have completed the step one of this project right so it might seem easy as of now but going forward it will take its own pace so wait till the end and enjoy this journey thank you and i will see you in the next one you can now access the main points of this video on our website amankincloud.com by clicking the link in the video description